Hi there, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Andrew's channel International. Today we play some uh, more Pathfinder and in particular we are in the Grey Garrison and we have to get out of here following Irabeth. So we managed to leave the, the, the infamous maze in the last episode and I think that here we can't get out so we will have really to go into this direction and I feel very lucky because I... Man, that's so loud. Uh, I feel very lucky because in the last episode I really managed to get out uh, and I also managed to make my um, party sleep. Okay. I think that due to the fact that uh, now the battle is pretty big, I might consider using the live... The, Let's say real time combat and not the turn based combat. And I think I will use the post button just, just to keep it a little bit faster. Okay, here there is a door which looks clearly uh, protected by magic. So we will have to figure out how to open this. Scroll of Fear, Summon Monster, Divine Favor, Masterwork, Masterwork, Masterwork. Wow. There's a lot of stuff that we can steal. This thing here? Okay. Let's continue. Um, the question is, can I open those doors? This one was beyond me. Not really. Okay, so we have to just to keep going, right? Let's keep going. Let's go to the second floor. Unless, uh, really, seriously, I can't open anything here. Looks like. So we come from here, okay. Okay, so we came from the basement and now we are going to the second floor. Let's do that. It seems that we are quite slow, so. Yeah, because the partner didn't gather yet. Hmm, look at this, man. All right. Hey, I know you, so you are one of these cultists. Okay, there's a battle against... Wow, that's a, that's a big group, to be very honest. That's, that's a huge group. Oh, man, that's a very big... That's a very big battle. Seriously, that's a very big one. Um, let me quickly check if I have any other... Yes, I could actually send, um, throw the entanglement. Um, I actually would just... Strike, let's strike the evoker. Um, let's move my Yarik uh, close to close to the enemies and let's use the light of the angels. Alright, Camille is already dead. Shoot. Make every strike count. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. We won't falter! Stella might start fighting defensively and uh, healing herself so that she will work better as a tank. By the way, we are fighting on one side. Okay, on the other side, the group of Irabet is fighting, so it seems working quite, quite well. Scylla, charge. And what is this? Another cultist. Okay, dretches and cultists. Okay, I think we have to uh, target the cultists before they can do any damage. Okay, the group of Irabit is now coming and helping. Perfect. Alright. Okay. Rely on me. Are we in trouble I'll yet? You back. Let me check if I can steal some goodies. Yeah, those, those scrolls are just very useful. Okay, and now I want to check if I can 
also uh, also get some good loot on this side. I mean, I could have I could have also uh, decided to fight using the tactical fight, which is since. I mean, I never used it, but it became my favorite way uh, since I started this um, this gameplay. Gameplay, uh, but um, it would have taken. I mean, it would have been really too long. It takes forever if you if you fight with I don't know twenty enemies. Then okay, to the battle. Okay, everything is falling down now. And is this door open? I don't understand one thing is I don't understand why um, I don't understand why they cannot run but fine okay we have to move to the second room so far we have a lot of uh, space but I'm going to leave because I don't want to collect this stuff here everything is really old everything is destroyed now It's time to decide at last what to do about the word wound. So this big stone that we saw, this massive and beautiful stone, this is the wound that we have to um, take care of. And now we meet do Minago. We Minago, this uh, kind of demon that looks uh, extremely pretty, except for the little details that she has no eyes and she's a horrible demon. But she, she has lip gloss, you know. And Staunton Vane, who never saw a girl in his whole life and is fantasizing a lot every night, he might fall in love with her. Staunton, do you know this is a demon? Does he know me? That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Teresin fell. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Oh my like butter wouldn't melt what i remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts how you begged to see me again how you promised you <laughs> she's really mean i'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat now staunton don't say things like that not about these lips the ones you kissed so sweetly Ugh. staunton dearest i'll kill you <laughs> very, very well done that was said, Stanton. Okay, the lady disappeared and now we have another bunch of demons that we have to face. Um, again, I would suggest that we charge. Um, we use the light of the angels with our little guy. And here maybe we can use some special... Alright. Um, Lan will target the wizard. Good. Uh, the wizard exploded. <laughs> the wizard has just exploded. Wow. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wasn't expecting this, but fine. Let's take a potion with Sela. That's good. This Abri Candilu uh, has a very high damage reduction, and Lan has been killed. Pity. We have to heal him again when he wakes up. Fine. Okay. So let's use the hex healing. And may my friend. My friend. Why are you not drinking potions? That's so easy. Yeah, a bit. Wait for us. Okay, we have to perform a mobility check. I think I will use I my kiddo. And that should work. Alright. It seems that we reached the top of this building. And now we see the stone. 
As soon as you step into the chamber, your vision seems to darken and your knees buckle. You struggle to keep your balance. The air in here is laden with power coming from the stone. Suddenly, your head is filled with voices, screaming, whispering, cackling, threatening, voices pleading for help, shri shrieking curses and taunts. You blink and the illusion passes. Congratulations, you made it all the way here. This is it, your precious ward stone. Well, what are you planning to do now, hmm? I could kill you where you stand, but wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like heroes? No, I want you to die in despair. I told you that she's mean. Like rats in the blighted ruins of your city, blind and broken, your flesh scabbed and seeping, and every moment. Sounds terrifying. Except that's how we've been living for generations. <laughs> there isn't a soul that can resist the temptations <laughs> of the abyss. Even a stone can be turned. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty Kiss hoof, pledge your loyalty to Baphomet, and then the workforce it ruins shall be yours. Um, of course, we just say we will stop you, Demon, and we attack her. We attack Minago. Now, I might consider to turn this in... No, I, I, I'm going to fight again real time. Sorry for that. Sorry about that, but I, I, I think that this is better. Let's charge. Let's now uh, use the entanglement uh, here. Lan is striking against Minago. Or wait, could this cleric, could this, could this, could this. Let's strike with the cleric. Uh, with the with the ball, while our ranger gets close and close and close and close, and then when Minago's there, he use the light of the angels, and now there is the entanglement. Man, use it! Wow, minus twenty four, minus twenty. Seriously, Arik, go far away because she's going to throw. Around now. She threw a fireball, but it seems that Irabeth could strike and she killed her, kind of. Okay, I think that we won the fight, but I have the feeling, I have the feeling that uh, some of my party could have been completely dead. The Demoness whispers a spell and a wave of darkness sweeps through your chamber. Your companions wince in pain, but it's nothing compared to what you feel. Thousands of voices once again burst into your mind. Drawing you in their moans, screams and sobs. We are good, so we say your evil spells won't stop a riotous army. And Scylla is also responding. Yes, yes. Keep telling yourself that. We will be victorious. Okay, oh my goodness. We are doing so, so bad. We really need now Make every strike count. to attack her again. I don't know what happened. No, it seems that, guys, it seems that we really just won the fight and now we are teleported somewhere else. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise Iomade, you woke up. Healing your wounds Healing was your easy. Wounds oh, was sorry. Easy. She's talking. But you were unconscious for so long, I was starting to worry we'd What happened? We couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out. We are at the Defender's Heart, our first hometown. I love this place. a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. I found a cultist dispatching the dungeons. It seems they are holed up in the Tower of Estro. have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't What is the situation in the city? Bad, but not hopeless. We're constantly getting news, and new sources of resistance keep springing up in the All right. where everyone seems what to do be we dead. Do, what do we the plan to do next? Here. You should see them. You heard what the demon said. They're going to desecrate the ward stone and blow up the whole barrier around the world wound. That would be an even worse disaster than the world wound's expansion before the Second Crusade. Not only Canabras, but every city with the Wardstone will be destroyed, including the Tell capital. Tell me what about the Wardstone. We can't allow that no matter Why what. Why is it we so important? It. 
The ward stones are a gift of Ioma Day. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the celestial armies. All right. The ward stones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating mm -hmm. a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk. So now we are going to ask, can I help you in any way? First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get a bit. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. He insisted he be allowed to examine the Okay, the Storyteller, this kind of, this elf, finished. this... Uh, Even before um, the demon attack, he had found some damage... Or scientist, or say, I don't know, like uh, the, this very wise person, traveler, wants to check the words. And, okay, Probably fine. Cool rune dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the I think the storyteller knew much. what he was talking about. All right. I think, the I think I'm going to speak to the about. storyteller. We could use his There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. And then probably we have to but storm the Grey Garrison once again. We just escaped from there, but uh, we have to get back there and no. try to, and to fight. Everything is clear. Thank you, Irakit. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was our house. Oh. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment. Terrorblade the residence has been revealed. It's filled with supplies. Okay. We will do this mission to go to her house and just pillage everything. <laughs> okay, we just stood up and uh, look at this. Okay, we are still uh, having removed fear. Uh, we have a level. I love it. Okay, we can get our third level of Nemon Slayer. And we grab the Fever Terrain. At third level, a Ranger might select a type of terrain. The Ranger gains plus two bonus in initiative checks, lore, nature, perception, and stealth skill when he is in this terrain. I think that we're gonna I'm gonna pick Urban because most of this act will be happening in a city or in a castle, so I think it's going to help. And then Demonologist. Uh, a Demon Slayer gains insight into his abyssal enemies. The Demon Slayer gains a bonus equal to half his class level on knowledge skill checks. Okay. Next one. So we get now one level in mobility, one level in stealth, one level in lore nature. Um, actually, I could just give one level to the knowledge arcana and get to a plus seven, which is not bad at all. And then we take perception, we go to 11. So now we have a very, very good set of skills. We have a new feat, thanks God, because I can finally pick the weapon finesse and the melee attack of Arik is now, <laughs> I mean, restored and corrected. And now I can use it in melee with two weapons. And it's gonna be, for uh, it's gonna be strong, it's gonna be strong. Then we take the favorite terrain, Abyss, Desert, Forest, Highlands, Underground, Urban. As I said, let's pick Urban. And that's it. So, um, let's have a look at, uh, at his characteristics now. Uh, let me check. He has 28, 28 uh, um, hit points, which is wonderful. And now I, I see... He has an attack plus 7 and plus 7 with the short sword and the knife. I think I will use two short sword, but so far uh, that's what we have, so I can't do much more. Um, minus one is due to the fact that the strength is minus one. Okay. But we are going to fix this. We are going to fix this uh, in the future and also using some different sorts of weapons. Okay. Fine. Um, let's give the level also to Lan. It would stay Zen Archer, absolutely, because it's just very strong. And as an Archer, Athletics and Mobility um, is great. Also, pers Perception is not bad. Also, even if, could I give a Stealth level? Yes, I can, and it will get a 7. And now, the Feet, the de Deadly Aim, uh, that's not what I wanted, to be honest. You can choose to take one, minus one penalty on all ranged attack rolls to gain plus two bonus on all ranged damage. Okay, so we spend a little bit more time. Maybe 
it's not that easy to hit, but we do more damage. Uh, I actually, I have already the perfect strike, I have the point blank shot, I have the precise shot. This is very important. I was looking for this, but uh, uh, if we have it already, then let me check if I can get something different. Rapid shot, weapon finesse, weapon focus. Um, all right, let me think. I mean, guys, I think I would just pick that deadly aim. I think it's good for um, our land. And we can take also point blank master. At, uh, at this is we are getting this for free. Choose one type of ranged weapon. You do not provoke attacks of opportunity when firing the selected weapon when threatened. Okay. Uh, we get the longbow. And so we have the point blank master with longbow and the day deadly aim, which is spectacular. Then we give the promotion to our shaman. Trickery, low religion. And she could get, uh, okay, a weapon focus or a point blank shot. I'm not sure if I want any of this. All right, in this case, I think I will pick combat casting because I would like um, Camellia to have a plus four bonus on concentration, concentration checks and also adept at spell casting when threatened or distracted. So she will be able to cast uh, in the battle and she will have a very good bonus uh, and probably be avoid to be... Um, let's take the spell book. We don't have any spell yet. But uh, now we can change the level of our shaman. I think I will delete now the remove fear. Uh, we can just take something different. Um, maybe sleep is better. And on a level two, we have uh, uh, the spirit magic slot, boost strength, wonderful, really ver very, very useful. And I might consider to have a one whole person as an offensive one and but well, restoration might be very useful, but for the time being, we won't be using it. Um, on the other end, I think I will use a second boost strength uh, to cast on my uh, character uh, so that we, I'm going to compensate a little bit his lack of strength. Now we give a promotion to uh, our Paladin. So she is getting a level of Paladin, Hour of Courage, the Divine Health. Mercy. Okay, so let's get some persuasion. Um, mobility is, is really bad for um, knowledge of the world and knowledge of Kana. Using, using magic devices, even if it's probably useless. She's getting here, she has already dodge and shield focus. Uh, this is the this is already used. We can get a, finally a, a weapon focus with her, and uh, I think that we should definitely give her a long sword focus. Long sword. So having um, a weapon focus, she gets one bonus on all attack rolls when we use uh, a long sword, and I think that long swords are really very very uh, common in the game. So. We'll definitely find the, the, the sword that fits her. And I can use one of those three mercy. So, at third level and every three levels thereafter, a paladin can select one mercy. Each mercy adds an effect to the paladin lay on hands ability whenever the paladin uses lays on hand. Okay, so fatigued. Um, the target is not longer fatigued, okay. Oh! The target is no longer shaken, so we can use the mercy against fright, and this is very good in my opinion. Whenever the paladin uses lay on hands on to heal damage to one target, the target is no longer sickened. Sickened. I think I will take shaken, and that's it. Now we are finally, finally, in the right place. The brave souls gathering the defender's heart survived the first attack. Everyone understands, so we need to be prepared for the second attack at this place.
and then we have to go to the market square of the city and go on the other side. Okay. Let's speak with Staunton. Stanton, I think he's not going to provide us any quest. Just telling us where the storyteller is. Black in library has been revealed. No, actually, yes, he gave us a quest. Um, if you want to read the story of Staunton Vane, uh, you can definitely pause and read. I'm not going to read everything because this game is so deep and interesting and full of characters and stories that if I really speak to everybody and I read everything, uh, probably this series would last five years. <laughs> probably not five years, but maybe two. Tell me about yourself. Where did you learn to read the rapiers so well? Your amulet is worth the news well. You're much more re relaxed and so on and so on. By the way, by the way, let me take price in descending order. Now I can see that I can actually, I can actually see um, <laughs> the magic equipment that I have. This ring grants the wearer plus one bonus on saving throws against spell with cold descriptors and add plus one to the DC for all saving throws. Okay. Okay. Creeps Rider's Armor. Plus two inside bonus to armor class against undead. Not bad. This marching terror is fantastic. Whenever this plus one glaive lands a hit on a new enemy for the first time, the target receives one to six negative damage and all other enemies in 15 foot radius must pass a will saving throw or become frightened for one round. I mean, I... Uh, I, would I would definitely give this to Sela. And when we have to attack a lot of enemies so a big group of enemies um but weak we're gonna use it to frighten them all right don't have anything else which is uh, to be ring of protection plus one plus one natural armor everything looks pretty pretty fine here okay we have everything Let's speak to Orgus again. And guys, uh, my computer sometimes is just crashing, so I need to be careful. Uh, we now cash in the 1,000 gold coins that he promised when we saved him in the underground. And he's giving us another job. All right. Noble birth doesn't give you the right to behave badly. All right. So what does the job involve? You shall be my bodyguard, you see. I have good reason to return to my mansion in Canabres. I still have... Well, it doesn't matter. It's not your business. So, Horgus is hiring us as bodyguard because he wants to get back to Canabres and go home and check something. But Canabres is full of demons now, so we will have to clean it up. But, deal. Let's do it. Follow me. Now, we're going to talk also... Let's check some loot, first of all. Uh, there is the Yerno. You, Yerno, what are you doing? Okay, he's talking about uh, a small fishing village, which is Chili Creek, and he revealed a new area. All right, wait for the liberation of Canagras. Consumed by the war against the demons, Crusaders can sometimes forget that life. I can't read it anymore, but we opened a new quest. Uh, as soon as we are done, we will open the journal and one by one we will uh, perform all the quests uh, because I really like uh, to go through all of them. We have to find and kill Kailessa. That's uh, the mission that we got. Okay. We can go to the basement, but not yet, because we didn't explore the, the main area uh, yet. Let's speak to Gemin. The medallion you're wearing, that's a sacred symbol, isn't it? Yes, he's a cleric. We got five experience. Uh, let's see what he has. So, here we can buy, in theory, 
really a lot of uh, things. Uh, let's take the price in descending order because I want to check what are the the, the wares. Uh, the best one for 13,000 gold we can buy a dark woman and uh, it helps us the ability to cast uh, ray of amphibious care ray of exhaustion okay the dark veil once per day grant your party total concealment against ranged attack for one minute which is massive it means that for one minute all the party cannot be hit by arrows seriously the glows of the neophyte whenever the wearer of this glows cast a country for a level spell level one spell uh, the spell is one additional point of damage per dice rolled wow the bag of holding is Probably the best um, purchase that we can do now because we will be able to carry more stuff, but I'm not going to take it immediately. And then there's just a bunch of potions. Um, I am not going... I mean, I could bulk sell everything and get 111. For the rest, so weapons and potions and so on, I will check um, outside. All those, all those dialogue lines are, honestly speaking, just giving some good um, lore, but nothing more. So now I'm going to talk to Pink Eye and Indra. Who are you? I am Indara, warrior, magus, and scholar of the classical warfare of Garund. All right, you have come a long way to be here. Why did you come here? To witness a legendary war. Oh. It looks like you know more about warfare than any of us. Why don't you join the Crusaders and show them how fighting should be done? Mm, no, I'm historian and analyst and theorist. Oh, okay, <laughs> easy, eh? So we are engaging now in data in a debate and using my uh, knowledge of the world, I think I will try to win. So we say the principle of war are always the same weapons, causes and resources might change, but the foundation remains immutable and we succeed. There is logic in your words. I give you that. Yes, the concept of war does not change, but the degree of sophistication in the methods that we use to destroy our foes. As a scholar, I can't deny there is a certain truth beneath your skeptical statement. Okay. Of course, if I were to argue in bad faith, the way Kuzada embellished their taste of slaying a single Brimorak by ending a dozen battles, for example, I could win this debate, but I am above such things, and therefore I force to admit that your skepticism is not entirely without merit. Have you changed your mind about joining the Crusaders? I don't see the point. Your Crusader appears to be quite confident in your skill. If nothing else, you present your arguments. All right. Uh, this is a worthy blade. It would be of use not only for the strong, but also for the wise. We just received the claw of Yitzka. Nice, stay safe, she says. And she disappears. And you, Pinkai, are you saying something? Not really. Um, let's have a look at this weapon. And the claw of Yitzka, guys, it's a short sword with piercing damage and 1 to 6 enhancement fire. And I think that we just really, this is really wonderful because we have just, uh, um, wow, we have just achieved 
our first magic weapon and due to the fact that I want to focus then in short sword I think that this is just massive I love it I love it okay thank you for watching guys I think I will stop here for today um, it has been a very interesting episode mostly narrative but there has been also a few real-time battles this time uh, in the next episode we are going to speak to Irabet we are going to gather the party and we are going to explore first of all our uh, encampment and then the city of Canabras thank you for watching and if you like the video please consider leaving a thumbs up or a comment so far have a great day and we see each other next time